Good day, people of the internet. So this is a, a video response to uh, Vigadep's, um a call to your local you support your local YouTubers. Uh, so a few people have done responses. Uh, Dave's Transformers Junkie, uh, Retro Prime, um, Bobber's Dude has done a bit of a sit on a soap thing, and uh, I've just seen one from Early uh, in Pit. And yeah, so this is my is response. Maybe it's a call to arms. Maybe it's also an unboxing. Who knows? <laughs> I know. I've actually written bullet points of what I'd like to say. This is how much I actually care about making this video. I run on my usual tosh that I throw out. So, a while ago I made a video saying that I felt that maybe the Transformers YouTube community on Facebook was killing the Transformers YouTube community actually making videos. And I'd just like to go on the record as stating this. I was wrong. I was not incorrect in this making this statement. I, I, it, was, it was a wrong statement. Um, I just felt that maybe you know the priority was going towards you know other stuff and, and the people not really promoting each other making videos. But at the end of the day, that this is the thing, and I think um, this is uh, some of the you know Stuart and the others when they it came up with the communities. The Transformers YouTube community on Facebook is a community for people who make YouTube community, YouTube videos, to, to hang out and just, just you know, just, just discuss anything, just to hang out and just share stuff and just say, hey, how are you doing, you know, I mean, and get to know each other. It's not about the prior, even though, the, you know, the name is, say, you know, it's about the YouTube, you know, video and the community, it's not about actually making the videos, it can be, it is at times, but that's not the main focus, the main focus is just the people who, who make videos, just having them somewhere where they can chat shit with, with like-minded people, and I think that is, is it does an admirable job of that, and, and some days, you know, sometimes the videos are the priority, but some other times it's like piping, other times, you know, it's just anything, you know, and I think that is a truly great place, just corner of the internet, and as, as far as Transformer communities go on Facebook, it's probably one of the most chilled out and least sort of like <laughs> places there. So, you know, it's well worth checking out. So I think really we need to look at, you know, YouTube as being the place that helps people making YouTube videos make YouTube videos. And that's, you know, I'm not here to say how to make better lighting <laughs> or, um, you know, editing <laughs> or anything like that. What I'm just saying is how to be a better YouTuber. I'll come to more of that later. Um, so I think really the main point I'd like to, one of the main points is we need to be looking at the new people. That's, you know, we need to be encouraging new people to who started out making videos, to continue making videos, to um, either or people to make videos for the first time. That's where we need to go. I mean, I came quite late to, late to the game and I've still got load of Transformers left to do, but Transformers, like all of Earth's resources, are a finite resource. There's only so many times you can talk about a certain one Transformer, then that, that, that's, that's, that video's done, you don't really want to make another video about that same Transformer again. So a lot of people have been doing this longer in the game, uh, uh, running out of uh, Transformers that they enjoy, that they really like, and that they really have a lot of salient points to talk about. So, you know, I think that is something that, you know, that we need to be encouraging the new people to do, and we need to be encouraging the new people to talk about old toys. <laughs> That's um, a thing to do, I think. You know, they talk about old toys. I like old toys. I like people. I like, like I, you know, and my videos I prefer to watch are videos where people give me their opinions on things. I can look at a photo of a Transformer and I pretty much know what its articulation is, what colour it is, and what size it is. I don't need to know that. What I need to know, is, what, what I want, I don't need, what I want to know from someone is, is why they like that toy. And if it's someone that I've seen videos of, of toys that I also own, and that they've done videos of, and I agree with their opinions, I'll be more thinking to go, you know what, I quite actually don't fancy picking that up. I don't care, you know, it might be 20 years old, it might be 10 years old, it might be just out. But, you know, that's what I want to see from a, a YouTube video about Transformers is why someone likes it. 
And I think, you know, we need to be trying to, I don't know how to encourage people to take that direction in the videos that they make, but, you know, that's something that I like to see. Now, you've got your old guard who make videos, like I say, Transformers of the Finance, and they're, you know, they're not, for whatever reasons, they're not making videos anymore. However, this is the beauty of YouTube, is when you make a video, in two weeks' time, that video does not disappear. That video is around for pretty much forever. So, you say, oh, I miss such a body making videos. You know what, you can just go on their channel, you can check their videos out, and you can look through the list of videos and go, you know what, I don't think I've actually seen that video, I can watch that video. Or, I've not seen that video in a while, you know what, I'd quite like to watch that video. You can revisit, there's videos here, I'm pretty sure the videos I've made will be on this earth longer than I am. Yeah? Let me just stick that by here. So, you know, that is the thing. We don't need to be going, come on, make a new video, make a new... We can just look at old videos. They're there. They're there for everyone. It's forever to watch. Let's go on with a re unboxing. I've got three blooming boxes in the box. I'm very passionate today. I don't think people have seen it as passionate in a while. Good stuff. Cheers, Doran, for bringing this up. <laughs> and cheers to Pal. What have we here? Oh, Takara Legends Black. Oh yeah, yeah. This is what I really like about uh, Takara is the quite often they have alt modes first, alt modes first in the in the um, oh, and slipstream, alt modes first in the uh, packaging and brilliant packaging as well. I love the artwork. The artwork's great. I can't, you can't see this. Uh, lighting's not very good because it's, it's dark outside. Um, yeah, almost first. Uh, I, the magic I find with Transformers is, is that anything could be a Transformer. That's what I like about it. You know, you can look at something and it could be a jet or a spider. That could be a Transformer. And I, I think if packaging in robot at first, it's like, oh, that's a robot that turns into things. And that's what Transformers are. But I like the idea that you could just see something on the street, a car could go past you, and that could be a transformer. And that, that's the wonder that I've always had with them, and the love that I always has with them. So I think when they package Ultimo first, that is a great thing to do. So package numero de, also from Compel. Uh, some slight pop up with, with the ordering, so I know exactly what this is. Legends, Night Shadow. So, I've got the three Decepticon Fembots. Really looking forward to getting these cracked open. And then, look at this big box. This is from, um, where's it from? It's from Korea. <laughs> so, I think if it is what I think it is, I ordered it on Thursday, and now it's Thursday, so it's taken a week to get them to Korea. Just think, think of that. Just think about how far your Transformers um, travel. I've never done an unboxing before. Um, I always think I've got a, not on a, a face that I, I can't get that weird type of thing. But, you know, I think I am doing that way type of thing. This is, I didn't think this box would be this big. So yeah, it's taken a week. That's a, just a magic. Think of the magic of just traveling to you from all the way from Korea for a week. <laughs> Beast Wars, Neo, Vue Darts, and Long Rack. <laughs> I've got to try Ceratops. <laughs> and a giraffe that transform. <laughs> you know, this this year I've really been oh, picking up these balls in the arm. Just absolutely, it's, cause it's one of those lines I've always seen on the internet, and I've never pulled the trigger on them. I have done, and I'm, I'm pulling the trigger quite. <laughs> yeah. The box. Ah. Yes. Anyway. Um, also, for some reason, because I've ordered them before, put a plaster in there, and um, in case you cut yourself when you're unboxing it. I use scissors. 
I see other people's unboxes and the boys, the knives you use sometimes. It's a bit excessive. But yes, anyway, I'm running out of battery power, so let's just get on with this. This is what I think of as a guide of, of better YouTubing. And that is basically, it's how to share the web. Now, if you look at some of like Dorian's video, well, let's go back to that now. If someone subscribes to your channel, we're not none of us are that big. The numbers don't matter. But the numbers do matter in a way. But these people are not numbers. Subscribers are not numbers. Subscribers are probably, you know, the state of the word in the YouTube community is, they're probably fellow creators. Now, you may not have heard of them or not, so I think sometimes if someone subscribes to you, it's good courtesy to check out their channel, check their link, and see if they make videos. And if they make videos, check them out. See if you like them, and give them a sub back. It's simple. I <laughs> know it, it sounds like it's simple, and it's not brain surgery. But that's the way it is. And um, again, if someone, yeah, if someone's stressing on, they're probably making YouTube videos themselves. And you should probably check them out and see what they're making and see if you like them, see if you can get out of them. Because they've obviously, I think at this stage, there's not as many people who are just blanket subscribing things to get as many subscribers as possible anymore. It is very, you know, a very insular subscribe, do this thing. Because I like this channel, not because I just want to get more numbers. I think that is a, a essential thing. And as soon as you check someone's out, channel out, you can see if they are you know, a genuine subscriber or, or someone who's just number picking. Uh, again, you know, someone have a discussion video on that, like, like Dorian's. Leave a comment, make a point, and then think about it maybe a week later. Check that video again and have a look at the other people who've also made a comment. Have you subscribed to these people? Do you know these people? Most of them you probably have done. But most of them probably are members of the community. The other people who are commenting are probably also members of the YouTube community or are also making YouTube videos who you haven't subscribed to. So maybe check out their channels and see if they, you know, are making videos that you like. Give them a subscribe. <laughs> I mean, and that is just the way it is. That is just, you know, and then another thing. These people, the old guard, who, who, you know, their time has gone, sadly. Well, it might not, you know, it might come back. But, like I say, they've not finished me. Yeah, no, their, their videos are still up, they're still active. You can still, uh, you're still allowed to watch them. I assure you, you're still allowed to watch them. Next time you pick up a vintage toy, or, you know, a classic toy, look that toy up on YouTube. After, maybe you do a video of yourself first, and then maybe look it up afterwards, and have a look at who else made videos about this toy. And we watch them. And if you'd like, you know what they say, maybe leave a comment and say, you know what, I just recently picked this toy up and I agree with you about this and I don't agree with you about that, but you know, I think, I've got, I think you've got a really good angle on what I like it, what I like about this toy you also like. You know, leave comments like that. Don't be the guy who's leaving comments going, when are you making videos again? Don't be that dude. Seriously, don't be that guy. But you know, just check them out. See if you make a similar opinions. And I think if if there's a slim chance, a very slim hope, that if someone starts seeing videos from various different people popping up comments on their videos, their old videos that I thought they were dead and discarded, saying, you know, I really enjoyed this video because of this, I really share a lot of opinions, that is more likely to encourage and inspire someone to make videos again than going, oh, I wish such and such a body give videos, I wish such a body would give us more videos. That's I don't know if I'm preaching to today. I don't know if anyone else sees that the way that I do. But um, I hope you've liked my video. And as always, you can like, you can dislike, you can comment, you can not comment. You can subscribe, you can not subscribe, you can unsubscribe. It's a freedom of choice. But, you know, big up Transformers YouTube. You <laughs> oh, fuck. Failed in the last sentence. Till next time, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.